Hi guys, welcome back to lecture two. In this um, part of the lecture, I'm going to do some hands-on using R. So what I have done, I have essentially put all the data in a vector y and then I rate that data as kind of a matrix and put so you can see the data here as a matrix with four rows and y row equal to false because I want to read them as a column. So now if you run that, so you I rate the data as a matrix and then I put the column names here. So if you put the data here, so you know, you see the each the way exactly I presented in the you know theory part, the data is kind of looks exactly something like that. Now, if I apply, if, we, if I use the apply function and to calculate the mean by columns, it will give me the group means. So if I just say data comma two, it will give me the column wise mean and I just call for mean. So it gives me the column means for each group. So toxin one has a column group mean of 23, toxin 2 has a group mean of 33, toxin 3 has a group mean of 20 and control group has average of 13. Now what I am going to do, I am going to apply the model equal to say mod LM and okay before that I need to define a treatment. Uh, say treatment equal to uh, replicate and say uh, first I want the first four values in the y variable is belongs to toxin 1 so I'm going to create toxin 1 variable then next four with the observation are going to toxin 2 so I'm going to create this toxin this is toxin 1 this is toxin 2 then I will just copy this to and here this is toxin 3 and this is control group this is control group so let me just run this so what i have here is toxin 1 4 toxin 1 then 4 toxin 2 then 4 toxin 3 and then 4 toxin com now what i'm going to do is if i just c bind dot data dot frame comma y equal to dot treatment as a df I am going to keep that as a data frame okay now if I just run the data frame so you can see that my y variable is all the values that we have in the data and treatment which group this particular value belongs to the first value belongs to to group toxin 1 second value belongs to group toxin 1 toxin 1 toxin 1 then fifth value belongs to toxin group 2 sixth value belongs to group toxin group 2 similarly the eighth value belongs to toxin group 2 then the ninth value belongs to toxin group 3 that's how i am pre-processing the data now I'm going to fit a model using LM saying that y colon treatment one data equal to df. This df I'm going to give. So this gives me model. And if I just run this, it gives me the coefficient values. But I'll come back to this before that.
so first what i'm going to do i'm going to from the model from the mod i'm going to extract the model matrix model dot matrix and as the x or design matrix now you will see if you look into this first is intercept then the second column is treatment toxin 1 then treatment toxin 2 and treatment toxin 3 let me just increase the fonts window size and run this you can see this is the exact design matrix that we got in the theory we designed and this is exactly what we are getting now what we are going to do i am going to compute the beta hat before that i need to compute the x transpose x percentage the percentage x so this is my x transpose x this is exactly what we got 16 4 4 4 so if i let me see if i can yeah this is the exactly the x transpose x we got and then we solve this this is exactly what x transpose x inverse we got x. then we get x transpose multiply it with x transpose x transpose y so this is exactly the beta hat that we got so let me see beta hat this is exactly the beta hat we got in our previous method okay <clears throat> now what we will do from the we also we fit the model here remember that so from the model we will extract the coefficient and we also have the beta hat so we will just see bind them so you can see that lm is also using the same method so our coefficient from the lm and our calculation exactly matches so now you understand that in the categorical variable you when you use categorical variable as predictor in your regression model you have to sacrifice one of the level out of many levels first of all you have to have at least one level more than one level and you have to if you have four levels you have to at least predict sacrifice one of the label to make the design matrix uh, full rank that is very important and if you don't do that then and if you create dummy variable or the one hot encoding for all of the label then your matrix will automatically become uh, less than full rank and you will not have a solution for your uh, coefficients so you have to be careful when you are creating the dummy variables